Uh, I typically represent anywhere from 250 to 300 advisors or teams a year in moving from one firm to another. Uh, and I've been doing this for a long time. So uh, it, it's safe to say I've, I've literally moved thousands of advisors from between firms uh, over time. And what I can say you know, at, a, at a high level, Corey, is that you know, advisors are often nervous to move. But what I, my experience has been that in a given year, my litigation rate, uh, the number of advisors who actually get sued by their firm when they leave, is about one or one and a half percent. So wow. if I'm doing 250 transitions a year, I might get three or four uh, you know, advisors who get sued by their firm when they leave. And, and it's usually, those people fall into a couple of high-risk categories. They're, they're either leaving a, a bank channel situation, a JP Morgan, a Huntington, a PNC, or some small regional bank, more likely, where they're you know with the Raymond James Financial Institutions Division or Securities America, but they're working at, you know, Podunk Bank of Nebraska, um, you know, the banks get very fidgety about advisors leaving and hitting on their bank deposit first. So that's one high risk category. The second high risk category are people leaving, you know, standalone small RIAs where the, the owner is still there and thinks that everybody ought to be throwing rose petals on the floor every morning when he walks into the office and takes any, it takes any departure as a personal insult. Yeah. Um, and, and have a lot of ego involved and will sue people out of a bruised ego. And then the third category are people who don't follow my advice and do something stupid um, and, and basically put a target on their backs to get sued. But my clients who follow my advice, um, as I say, the vast, vast majority of them are able to move without any incident whatsoever. So advisors should not be scared to move. I think that's really good to know. And I think that is um, an incredibly low st statistic compared to what a particular Edward Jones advisor or a Morgan Stanley advisor or a UBS, you know, advisor thinks. I think there's a lot of people potentially, you know, that have a lot of vested interest in them keeping and staying in their seats that, you know, would potentially tell them that that litigation rate is a lot higher. Well, if you do it properly, you don't really give the firms an excuse to sue you, right? The trick is to make sure you color inside the lines. And if you conduct yourself appropriately, then the firm doesn't have any basis to sue you. Um, it might mean, you know, being careful with what you do and don't do. But if you do it properly, you know, my, my role in these, in these transitions, Corey, is to advise, uh, you know, FAs, you know, to be so that they can be as aggressive as possible without crossing any red lines that would give the firm an excuse to sue them. And, and there's a lot of leeway there if you know where to look uh, at a high level, not just Jones, but anywhere, that you can, there's a lot you can do that you don't realize uh, as, a, as an advisor that you have, have some tools available to you that don't violate the contract and will still help you accomplish what you need to do in terms of giving your clients the opportunity to come with you. Mm -hmm.